Okay, thank you. All right, so, um, okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll just show you guys the idea on, on one of these sheets, mark it, and then you guys can get the idea and start, you know, after we log off, you guys can start the, making your stabs. And it looks like uh, Celeste and Lex is here. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, uh, hope you're doing well. Um, just gonna- Good, how are you? Great. Um, so it just was sort of a, a, a little bit of a challenge last time when I was trying to talk you guys through it and you're doing it. So I was just gonna show you the, the start, a little bit of an example, and then you guys can go on your own. I think it will just be easier that way. So if you guys can't see my screen or, or if you want it bigger or whatever, just let me know. Um, but so again, as you guys remember that, that the um, one of the problems with um, the Google Sheets is that it tends to only uh, to, to optimize space and to not make everything be a gazillion million bits of memory. Um, it it only ha it has constrained worksheet sizes, and so we just got to remember to to always insert extra stuff so we don't lose data. So I'm going to insert right now a few rows, uh, row below, and then let's do that a few times, so we have some space here to work with. Okay, cool. And so then, um, for example, so you, so you guys have this. this it's it's, you know, restaurant, whatever, number one, um, year 2020, and blah, 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 blah. So we'll start. So, so these guys, these raw answers are, dip, theoretically, you can, but they're kind of a pain to work with. So that's why you guys gen turned everything into um, easier to mess with numbers. And so over here are the coded answers. And so that's the one, those are the ones we can use. Um, and um, yeah, so, so this, so, this is the one right where we had, uh, I'm trying to remember. So this was, oh, never mind. We'll just do it this one. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna say, um, are you familiar with MSC, right? So we can do this a couple different ways and you guys can lay it out in a couple different ways. But if we said something like 2007, 2008, 2009, 2000, or 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Okay, so here's our different years. And so again, with, with what we're wanting to do with our summary statistics is first just kind of like, hey, what's the you know, not so much test hypotheses, just sort of look at the, the big picture. And so one of the things would be, hey, are these numbers the same for year to year, right? And what's the overall number, right? So for this one, let's just say all years for this one. And again, if this isn't making sense or I'm going too fast, you guys just, hey, Dr. A, can, can you stop for a second, right? So, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, waste our time, but I also don't wanna go don't want to lose you guys. So for the all years, it's just, you know, man, how many people are familiar with these things? Just overall of all the years we've said, right? Now there's issues with replication. And when we do statistical tests, you know, what's an independent grab. But for this first initial summary statistics, we don't care about that. We just, again, want big picture. So, um, so we can say something like this. We can say um, average. Right, and this is going to be everything. So I'm going to select this one all the way up to blah, 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 all the way up to this one. Okay, so on average, oops, shit, what did I just do? I just, I just deleted. What did I do? Okay, so on average, this says about a third of the servers, fishmongers, say that people. Um, or sorry, sorry, sorry. A third of the servers say that they are familiar with this stuff. Okay, cool. Um, and so we could we could say something like this. We could label this average. We could label this um, uh, uh, max. We could label this min. Uh, now organization becomes a thing, and so um, so. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just say that. 
Okay, so here we go. Well, let's see how we could do this. So now we could take the same approach, right, and put it up here, and it's going to be it's going to be the same value, right? Because this is this is, and this this is big enough to see on your screen. You guys can see this, okay? Yeah. Okay. So so this is the same exact form. I just moved it in a different spot, right? So when we when we select like this copy this right i've okay let me, let me change let me do a different thing so i'm gonna i'm gonna copy this cell right now i just i just hit the copy command and i'm gonna move my cursor into one cell over to the right i'm gonna hit paste it's gonna be a different number right it's gonna be a different number why because when i do the, the generic copy paste Uh, what Excel is actually doing is saying, oh, he said, even though it says right here, even though it says right here, Z7 to Z683, what Excel is really doing is saying, ah, Dr. A said to average all of these rows above me. And then he just copied me over to the side. I'm going to, I'm going to assume that he wants to, what, what he wants to do the same thing for the next row over. Right. So if I now look at this up close, and I and even though all I did was hit copy and paste, right, right here, it's Z set, it's averaging Z seven, right. Now when I go to this other cell that I just simple copied, simple pasted, now it's the average of AA seven and AA sixty three, right. So it's a relative shift over, right, and that can be your friend. In fact, in fact, let, 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 let me let me do a different thing. Let's not do max and min here. Let's just let's just do this. Okay. So makes sense. Now check it out. So that says 32, this says 12. But if I go in here, if I if I move my if I select the cell, move my cursor into the function part of the of the cell and I select this and then I hit copy. I'm not copying the cell, I'm copying the formula, okay? And then I go to this other cell and I click in the cell. I don't, I don't, I don't hit paste when I hit the cell. I, I don't hit paste when my cursor is on the cell. I, I actively click inside the cell box up here in my formula bar. And then I hit paste and then I hit return. That does the exact same clip, right? So it says I'm gonna copy exactly. So now, so if I just copy and paste simple over to the side, it's gonna be a relative formula. If I go inside and select that content, move to another cell, select inside that cell and hit paste, it'll be exactly the same value. Is that cool? So what we can do is once we get this row correct, once we get this, this uh, all these years correct, we can then just simply copy it and paste it over the right and all our summary statistics will be ready to go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, um, so this is cool. Now we want to know the, the overall average. So that's cool. That's our overall average 32. So that's given us a sense. Okay. Big picture. Um, uh, but th does it, does it change much by year? Is there some years where it's really different and, and some years where it's mostly the same? I don't know. Let's find out. So I'm going to come up to here. And for this, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to use uh, a. I'm okay. So, so, so this is average. Here's another way we can do this. Okay, all I did was do the math for an average, right? So what's the average? The average, we add up everything, divide by how many individuals we, we counted, right? So the average function down here automatically just does all that for us, makes it simple, right? Same exact thing. But now what I can do is I can add some conditional uh, conditional formula here. What do I mean? I mean, I want to say 
okay, average, but only average for me when it's, it's the year to the left, only average when it's 2007. And so uh, some if it's 2007, count if it's 2007. So that, so in that case, I'm gonna do this, some if a different formula, and then uh, it's gonna sum over this range, and then it's gonna have the criteria. The criteria is gonna be this. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm not quite right. It should be um, year J, okay. Too many arguments here, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. So, count if it's going to be that should work. Okay. Oh, it's Z, it's not Y. That's why. Okay. If J, J, hmm. that's not working. Maybe there's an error in the case. This is. No, that's why. Yeah, that looks good, and this good. Okay, so is there, is there an error in the data here somewhere? Let's see. Ah, okay, that's why, okay. Okay, um, so then for this formula to work, we need to go in, and this is the copy, right, you guys? This is the copy, so I can change it? Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah. So I think the, the text is throwing it off. So I think I have to delete that. Could it also be the green lines going across? No, green space? No, 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 that shouldn't mess it up. It, it's a, it's that we're asking it to add up, but there's text in it. So it, it can't yeah. add text to numbers. Uh, hold on, somebody, somebody at the door. Hold on, give me one second. You're good. Okay, sorry, you guys. Okay, let me see. Where was I? 
Um, okay, so I think that we get them all here. Uh, okay. Did that fix it, GSC? Huh, why did this not work? Wrong number if count if expected two arguments but three. What's wrong with this? J7, J7, I6. I did say, so I don't know why it's not working. That, that should work. Some if this is the J is the range, right? J is the range. And if that equals, let's see what happens if we do this. Let's see what happens if we do this. Uh -huh. So that works. So there's something wrong with the count if. Ah, ah, okay, I see. I got you. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with oh, this is this is uh, twenty thirteen? It should be. Do we not have any data in twenty thirteen or twenty nineteen? No, we couldn't find any data in those years. Okay, okay, so that's so that 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 so so okay, so so that's why that. Okay, so uh, you can just. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. Okay, so what this is telling us is it looks roughly, it looks like 33 first year dropped way down to 13, then to 16, then up to about a quarter, then up to about, it stayed about 20%, then up to a third, then up to half in 2014, and then about 40, then about 60%, and then back down to 15, 45. So there's, there's lots of variation from year to year, it looks like, right? Yeah. Now what we can do is check it out. So now here's our formula. Okay. Now let's lock in the, uh, so, okay, so sorry. So, so far it makes sense what we've done, you guys? Yeah. Okay. It's, we're looking for the average of every year. Yeah. Now, now I, now I, I, there's something we need to fix first though. So check it out. So right now this one says J7 to J683, remember what I said about the relative? Mm -hmm. Watch, now I'm gonna move the cell down. Now it's become J, J8 to 684, J9 to 68, right? So it's, it's where, where the relative frame is shifting. So we don't want that, we wanna lock it in. We always wanna start at, um, we always wanna start at, sit at seven and end at 683. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in and I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of stuff. Now, a dollar sign in front of either the, the letter for the um, column or the number for the row is going to say exactly this one. Don't make it relative. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is, and, and the general approach I'm going to do is, is, is this first one in my, in my row, I'm gonna get that dude right. I'm gonna get that, that formula correct, locked in. And then I'll take that and paste it to the right, paste it down, et cetera. So 
Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to come up to where it says G, this, the seven and I'm going to hit dollar sign to put that in front of the seven. I'm going to hit dollar sign to put it in front of the six. I'm going to hit dollar sign in front of the seven. I'm going to hit dollar sign in front of the six. I'm going to hit dollar sign in front of the seven. Hit dollar sign in front of the six. Now, when I hit return, it's the same exact, it does, it, it amounts to the same thing as far as what it did mathematically, right? But now, when I copy and paste, um, it's going to be, it's going to be accurate. And now, uh, so that's good. And then the last little bit I want to do is I'm going to come over here. Now I want to paste this column over to the right. So now I want to see how many customers ask about sustainable seafood, right? So again, for the overall average one, I can just copy this because it's simple, put it to the right, boom. Okay, so our big picture is about 12, yeah, about 13% of people just all, all the years, all dates, all times um, are, are asking about um, uh uh, seafood sustainability. Okay. So now I'm going to try the same thing, but so first I'm just going to do a, a copy and sell over, which will be wrong. And why is it wrong? Well, it's wrong because, uh, uh, the J has changed. The Y has changed, right? All that kind of stuff. Right. So now it's not now if I, if I click on this cell, if I click in here, it'll it'll highlight. So it's right. Can you see the colors? The colors here. This blue, this teal is this teal. Um, this orange color here is this orange. So it's telling me that's what yeah. it's that's what it's looking for, right? Okay. For the 2007, it's purple, and that that's the purple cell, right? Yeah. But look, now that I just did when I did the simple paste over to the right. So first. Check out the teal. The teal is correct, right? The teal is, is maintained as, as we've gone across, but the purple shifted over and this orange shifted over. We wanted this column to shift over because that's the, that's the things we're doing the math on, but our reference check, the year has now become the time. So what we need to do is before we, we pull that sucker over, I want to come over here and I want to put a dollar sign in front of the J, right? And I want to put a dollar sign in front of the J. I want to put a dollar sign in front of the Y. Um, I don't need to worry about the Z because the Z I do want to shift. Yeah. So I want that one. So some I want to be relative, some I want to be stagnant and locked in. So I'm going to go the same thing over here. I'm going to, I'm going to go to J. I'm going to put the dollar sign in front. I'm going to put the dollar sign in front, and I want the Y dude to be the same. Now, I do a simple copy, move the cell to the right, a simple paste. And this comes up with, you know, 8%. Um, and so, so I, I, I can do the same thing. I have to go in here and, and change these guys, right? Change th this. And then once I have this whole row correct, I can copy and paste that whole thing over to the side. And then we'll get the answer of, of um, you know, how it changes per year. Why is it changing per year? Great question. Maybe it's changing because the public is really changing. Maybe that's what's happening. Yeah. Maybe instead we're sampling different grabs. Maybe the students mostly just went to Camarillo restaurants or markets that year. Um, Right, maybe maybe one year we did really well at, at sampling, um, I don't know, low income areas, and other years we didn't. So there's there's all kinds of explanations for that, and and that that's sort of the next level of of thinking about our data. But for now, we just want to say, hey, what does this what does this data look like? And so so you guys should work on that. So then you want to go for each of these dudes, lock in the J, right. Lock in the J, lock in the Y, lock in the J, lock in the Y. And now we can paste that dude over and paste him here, right? And the advantage is now, not only can we do it there, 
But now we can paste this sucker over all the cells and it'll work. Right. It does make sense for this one of the most common questions. You guys have to eyeball that, but, but right, does it make sense? So a little bit of, it's a little bit of pain to sort of get these formulas set up, but once they're set up, you can just move it across. Okay. Um, so for, for yeah, that, how many customers have about sustainable seafood? For that one, we can just drag it down to get the average, right? And then drag it across to get the other averages for the other questions um uh as long as you have it locked in right so so as long as it's locked into the year you're pulling from and you're locked into the the year the the relative year okay can we do 2009 so i can see right so 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 right now 2009 won't work right so if i do this and copy and paste it there that's going to be wrong okay so i have to come here in 2000 uh, let me let me even be more dramatic so so I have to, if I did this and I paste it across for all these, like I tried to do over there, they're all gonna be wrong. So what I have to do is on this column here, I have to make sure these are all locked in now. So we put the number sign. Okay. Yeah, dollar sign, dollar sign. Okay, I got confused. Dollar sign, no. No. Okay. dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Now I can go and paste it over here and it'll work and it'll work. All right. Yeah, you get, you get what I'm saying? Okay, so, yeah. So, so we start like, with this start with this very first upper left cell in the matrix. Uh, and then pull it down. And then we need to go and adjust these guys depending on what the formula. Sometimes you don't have to, but but for this, the way we set this one up, you do have to adjust it and, and sort of okay. fix it. But then once that one's fixed, then we can just boom, barrel over, you know, all the way across. Well, that's easy. <laughs> that's easy. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes so, sense. So, so far it looks like, let's just do this real quick since since we're here. Dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. There are ways to do this more sophisticatedly, but, but you guys should know this way because this way will work all the time, right? And then, and then you can start to learn tricks to make things go faster and, and jazz, but, but it's important you guys understand all these basic summary functions and stuff and, and how to make Excel do the, do the um, math you wanted to do. Okay. Uh, this dude. So while I'm doing this, you guys have other questions? Uh, well, yeah, but that's gonna be for the other data. So for the restaurant quantitative, like how, do we use that data? That's the question that I have. So in, in a similar approach. So the first one is just gonna say, hey, what's the average price? All right, what's the average price of our seafood? That's just oh. average. Yeah. And then you could say, hey, what's the average price of whatever tuna or, or whatever the hell, right? Okay. You could say, uh, so, so the main things you can use here are average, sum, uh, count, Right, so you could say, hey, how many times was, you know, um, so again, this is just a summary. I forgot where I was typing in here. Uh, so this is just the summary stuff, right? So you're trying to get the big picture. So the big picture should be, I don't know, how many items were in the frozen section versus the fresh, right? So for that stuff, you can just do overall total sum, right, for my, our whole data set. You know, way more stuff was frozen than was in canned. Um, so all that stuff. So all the, all those basic columns, you should have a sense of how many I, how many MSC items did we do we have in the database? You know that that kind of stuff. So again, sum, add, total, max, min. Those are going to be your initial things. And initially, the 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 first first step, right, is is this is this stuff here, is the all years. It's just, hey, in our data set right now, what's the average price of his, or what's the average price per pound, I should say, of a seafood item, right? Um, and, and, then you, and, then we can, and then you can go from there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I forget where I was now. Where was I? This guy's got dollar signs, this guy's got dollar signs, this guy needs dollar signs.
Let's do any of these dollar signs. Alexis, when we're, when we're doing this, are you okay with uh, with disaster stuff while I'm doing this? Is, is everything making sense? Um, Jorge kind of filled me in on some of the things we had to do. I did look at the module. Um, I think I'm a little bit confused on like the Excel okay. portion of the assignment, but um, I think this is kind of helping me out. Okay, were the, were the were the videos helpful or not? They they weren't that helpful in the in that module, or did you not have time to watch them yet? Um, I haven't watched the videos, but I did look at everything else. Okay, so watch the videos. So the videos, I essentially do what I'm doing right now. I I, I step through, like how to do the stuff. Um, I mean, I did that in class, but the videos go like step by step, like download the data, and then I I'm essentially doing what we're basically doing now. Yeah, the video uh, really helped me a lot uh, get the like the answer for the question that was being asked cool. for the visual. So yeah, That's they awesome. they helped a lot. Yeah, I'll probably watch. The, I will watch the videos today. Okay, cool. Um, and then just poke me if you don't if after doing that if it doesn't if it's like weird or it doesn't make sense or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so here we go. So here's the answer. So the, this is. Uh, uh, or I guess we can go more, right? We have other columns here. Oh, okay. that, that's the second one. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, um, okay, so here we go. So it looks like in terms of how many customers ask about seafood, it's about 9% that year, 6, 4, 7, 8, 11, 13, 13, 8, 36. So this looks really weird, right? So 2018 looks really different in, in all of our stuff. So that might, we might be worried about that, right? There might be something, I mean, maybe not, but one of the things we do with the summary statistics is, hey, is something, did, did we sample a very few number of places or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, so we can look for the outliers. Um, uh, and it looks like, uh, oh, okay, sorry. I guess this was Fishmonger 2 that we did here. Um, so we can also do the average. We ask sometimes one person and sometimes two people. This is this is the merging of the two. So we can ask that here as well. And we can do this as well. Okay. So um, again, 33 this first year in terms of are you, how familiar you with MSC, et cetera. A third, about 13%, about 16%, about 20, about a fifth, about a fifth, about a third, nothing, about half, two thirds, right? So um, so it seems to be bumping around. Um, so uh, so this is gonna imply that, hey, maybe we wanna look at what the, what the little more specifics about the, the restaurants or the markets, right? Maybe we wanna look at, say just the big markets, just like the Ralphs and the Vaughns and things versus the small markets or whatever. But that's all stuff you guys can start to get into as you're thinking about your hypotheses and stuff. So, so does, that, so does that make sense what we did? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're copying and pasting, right? The... Uh, w w once, so we started with this dude, got that, making sure that was working. And then we, introduced some of the fixed cells so we could paste down and then it would it would correctly it would correctly keep the z cor the z correct and then we adjusted to make sure we locked in after we got this first row we locked in the year and we locked in the the reference row and then once we do that we just copy and paste over to, to the right okay uh and for the Remember, there's other formulas too, right? So this this here we did average. You know, we we could do, you know, all years. You know, mean. This could be all years max. 
What happened there? So generally a good thing to do when we're doing this summary stuff is how many samples do we have? How many, how many, again, you know, this is, this is, you're going to be tell, telling this to somebody that's never seen this before. So if we walked up to some random person and said, Hey, we, we studied seafood and they said, Oh, okay. What, what did you study? You said, Oh, we found that 32% of the people um, uh, that we, uh, of the fishmongers and the wait staff we asked, knew had heard about msc or the idea of sustainable seafood or blah 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 blah, and then they might then the, the the person might say oh well you know how many people did you did you ask you know so 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 and you have an answer and like oh what was the most what 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 restaurant or whatever had the most um familiarity what had the least right so, so those, those, when we say summary statistics, that, that, that's basically um, the key thing. So if I did this, I can change this formula from average to max. I can change this average to min. I can change this average to count. Actually, it's probably better to do count, count if this is, oh yeah, yeah never mind, never mind. No, that'll probably confuse you guys at this point. Okay, yeah. So we had 600, oh my God, it's an omen. We had 666 people, uh, or 666 uh, lines in the data set, right? And we can paste these over. I'll add another row so that 666 changes. <laughs> so we're safe, so we're safe, right? So it looks like everybody always answered this. But it looks like we're missing, we had blanks, right? As we started to get more into the data set. And that's fairly common when we ask a survey. If people don't finish the whole survey, if they take anything, they'll usually take the first questions or respond to the first questions. So, um, so yeah, there we go. So, so this general approach, it, you guys should do this with all your variable comments. C columns, which is what's the average value in this, in this variable what's the maximum value of this variable what's the minimum value of this variable and uh you know what's the sample size what's 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 the end so you should do that for all your data and 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 you can you can change this sheet to you know summary statistics sheet or something or you know however you want to call it or what what have you um and and then uh and then we'll go from we can go from there so, okay, also well, remember that, that uh, we have to take out the blanks. So where it says blank, that will, that will screw up the, right? So we do have some things like 2015 should have data in there, but because we didn't take out the word blank, um, it's a little bit screwy. Okay. Um, and probably we should just use, you guys just focus on the average coded answers. I think that's probably best. So some years we had one response, some two, or some sites one and two. This sort of just controls for all that. So this is probably a cleaner way to just focus on this um, okay. as opposed to doing all the possible ones. Okay. And it'll be the same thing for the restaurant qualitative? Yeah. Restaurant yeah. quantitative, okay. Yeah. And then if we look at market quantitative, let's say, you know what I'm saying? So we have we have this stuff, unprepared, fresh, rah, 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 rah. So we probably wanna do, I mean, I mean the average, that's not gonna, I don't know. Well, I guess that would be helpful too. But 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 to start with count, right? Or sum. We do it with one, so we can just sum it up. So sum and count in this case will do will give us the same result. But um, 
everything should have a price per pound, right? That, that, that the price per pound is the stuff we're going for. So it looks like you guys haven't quite maybe finished this data sheet because it looks like right here, we don't have, so we want all the data in price per pound, right? So we want apples to apples. So this one that's that's 329 for an eight ounce thing, we need to divide 329, right? There's whatever it is, 16 ounces in a pound, right? So, so you guys need to uh, get this column populated. Okay. So it looks like you guys aren't quite done cleaning up the data yet. So, so we want, and then like this one, nobody wrote the price down. So this one was skipped. Um, but for this one, where we actually have price, we wanna turn everything into a price per pound. So it's apples to apples. And so that's just gonna be um, the, you know, the, if, if it's reported in pounds, right? We report in pounds. If it's reported in ounces, um, we, need to, we need to have the, we, we need to, divide this by the fraction of the ounces right am i making sense yeah yeah so so but th but then what you want to do once you guys do that finish cleaning up um we want to do like what's the most expensive price per pound what's the cheapest price per pound what's the average price per pound of the whole data set right okay this thing here right? The, the overall average, not carrying by years. And then the next step would be, hey, what's it per year? What's it per 2017? What's it per 2018? Like that kind of stuff. Cool? Yeah. Awesome. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill this. I'm going to kill this thing.